This is a question I get a lot. How come everyone always have to be so complicated when it comes to wigs? Wigs are not really complicated. Today's video is for all of my simple girls out there who just want to put a wig on and don't have to worry about a pre-plucked hairline. You don't need to worry about bleaching. You don't need to worry about too much styling. This wig I'm wearing today is all of that. And if you are that girl, this wig is for you. And of course you don't want to have to glue it down, right? If you are trying to be very simple with your hairstyles. When I do see women Women that are wearing wigs and they don't really care about the hairline being pre-plugged. I think it's like several steps that need to be taken in order for your wig to lay the way it needs to, to look very natural because even if you're just putting a wig on your head, you still want it to melt. You still want it to not look like a wig. These steps, even though I might talk through the video, only take a few seconds. It does not take long at all and your wig can come up and off. So Precious Squad, Happy New Year to you guys. I'm super excited to be back with more videos this year. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Marie. Click that subscribe button. Also be sure to thumbs up this video before you guys leave and drop me a comment. And so yeah, we're gonna jump right into today's video and I'm gonna share all the tips. Keep on watching if you would like to see all of that. Just for you all, I have a special discount code on this wig. So you can get 20% off of this particular wig by using Marie 20. It will be in the description box, but if you wanna save throughout the website, you can just use Marie to save um, money on your wigs. Now this is what the wig looked like straight out the box after I've washed it. So the curl, the color, everything is really pretty. It's a body wave texture, um, but I wanted you guys to see a close up of what the highlights in this wig look like. This is how the inside of the cap look. It's a 13 by six cap, as you can see. I did bleach the knots. Now when you get a wig and you style it, if it don't have a pre-plucked hairline, then this is what it normally would look like. Just looking at this wig on my head right now, you probably are like, um. By the time I get to the end of this video, you will see the simple things that you could do to make this wig look very natural. And I'm not gonna tweeze it or anything. First thing I'm going to do, is get me some hair clips and I'm going to pull the hairline back so that I can get rid of the extra lace. I'm just gonna cut away the lace. Nothing special here, just cutting it the same exact way that I normally do. So as you can see, um, this is what the lace color looked like. This is what it looked like very close up. I am gonna go glue this, so I'm going to just tighten up the adjustable straps in the back. When it comes to making a wig like this look very natural, the most important thing is to pay attention to the parting. What I like to do is make sure my parting is very deep. And because you have so many knots here, you can't see the lace, but you can see like where the knots are. This is why bleaching the knots is important, but you just wanna make sure your parting is straight. Is a good space right here at the forehead, right here, just like so, of an opening. Now y'all know I am in love with these wax sticks. So this is the first thing I'm gonna take and I'm gonna make sure that hair is pushed where I need it to go. You want this area of your wig to lay as flat as possible. And then I'm just gonna take my hot comb and go through this area, opening up that parting. And you see this little space right here? This is what you want at your parting. Even if you have to remove some hair, the next step I'm gonna take is going into this parting with something. So this is different what I'm gonna do. I've never tried this before, but today's gonna be the first day I try it. This right here is the Perfect Line Swiss product. And you guys know I've done videos on this. If you need to know what this product is, if you wanna know how to get a fake scalp, definitely check out the video that just popped out. I gave a full detailed video on how to use this product. This is in the color tan. And I'm going to actually do this reverse and apply it in the parting. I like this because it has a thicker consistency and it does look like actual scalp. We're going to use this in our parting today. So I'm just going to take my rat tail comb and I'm going to take this product. So I'm going to go into the product, the tip of my comb, like so. And I have not warmed this product. It's supposed to be warmed up, but I find I don't need to sometimes. It's just place... Let me pick up some more, pick up a little bit more. And this literally only takes a few seconds. This process is not long. I'm gonna just press this into the parting. What I'm gonna do is just add little pieces of it because I do need to heat it still because it is a bit clumpy. But for now, I'm just gonna take a little bit like this, about that much, and just place it down the parting. And I'm gonna see what that little bit do. So I'm gonna get my dryer and I'm going to heat it. And then 
see if it's heated enough I'm just gonna rub it down the parting like so yes just like that and I'm not worried about any residue that may fall I'm gonna let the clumps just fall off parting like so and don't be afraid to get it a little bit into the hair we want to cover the lace and we want to cover the knots in that parting and as you can see it's doing an awesome job at hiding those knots I should have took I want to spread it a little bit into the hair so it can cover everything yes okay there it is all right so you guys you can see and then if you do need to get any of the residue off the hair the company recommend using just a little bit of oil down the parting it also gives it that scalp like appearance too all right so as you can see that made a huge difference in how that parting looks we're almost done laying very very flat so i am going to go down the parting again with the hot comb and if you place the hot comb in that area you can also help to melt that because once it's cooled down basically it's just going to like stiffen back up so it won't move make sure all these little hairs um it's out of the way back of the hot comb and just press right there yes it can be a little hot sometimes so you just want to do this with caution all right and so right here i'm going to create just a little bit of edges and curl this and then of course just cut that away take a little bit of your spray like your even spray or hairspray and just spray your brush lightly very gentle you know all right so you can see the difference with this side compared to this side you can do it this way or you can do it that way i think with this wig i prefer this side more so I was just showing you that if you wanted to create some edges, you can. What I like to do now is take a little bit of foundation powder and just go right here at this forehead area. Because I don't like to take the perfect line Swiss all the way down to the front of the lace. But this kind of blends the forehead and kind of gives like a space right there so it's like your lace is not even visible. So now what you want to do is take your hot comb and pull the hair toward the face. This is going to give the most natural look with it when it comes to a wig like this. Unless you have a pre-plucked hairline, the hairline doesn't need to show on a wig like this. Pulling the hair towards the face just opens up that parting more and it gives a more flat appearance. You want to make sure this area is very flat to the forehead. So I am going to add layers right here in the front. All right, so now that we have the finished result, this is what it looks like, and I think it's a great way to wear a wig without having to like do so much. If you just want your wig just to look decent, you want it to look natural, I think this gives that very well all the tips that i share with you in today's video make sure to apply those I, i'm pretty sure you guys can catch on and get this i just absolutely love the way this turned out um again this wig will be linked in the description box if you all want this wig i will also put a discount code down there give this video a like i want to try to run the likes up let's run the views up on this video i think my videos are very very helpful if you want to share them with others that is awesome but yeah drop me some comments let me know if these tips was helpful to you or you can just let me know what you think about today's style what types of wigs you like below yeah and i will see you all back in my next video